Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna show you what new content to expect in Tower of Fantasy 1.5 update. A few hours from now is the official 1.5 Tower of Fantasy Global update. While we are waiting, let's take a look. What content are we expecting in this update? Let's talk about this content and maybe I could show the CN version if it is available. Take this with a grain of salt because everything might be changed in the global version. The artificial island, new map to explore, tons of black and gold nucleus, and much more. Upon arriving the island, you will be greeted with these blue portals. This will allow you to traverse the map easier. It actually teleports you to a predetermined location. There's actually another one which is a red portal. This one teleports you to special locations. You could always use the interactive map to find those portals. New map means new map progression rewards. In the artificial island, we will have two sets of rewards. Um, as you can see here, it just tells about the housing system. In the CN version, you have to be level 60 or you have an 840 progression in the map. So currently, I only have 565. Other people, you know, get the developer logs. I only have two. Um, just to have the progression to 840 to access the housing system. But yeah, I'm not sure it will be the same in the global version. We have red nucleus. We have that red um, proof of something for the matrix. Um, SSR uh, relic. And also we have a costume. Hmm. Okay. And for the next set of rewards, hopefully it will be the same, but you know, you never know. <laughs> it's too big. Next is the not so new world boss this frog that we already fought in the joint operations, where you could get zero matrix. Last but not least is the Frostfire Dragon where you could get Samir Matrix. This boss is actually so aggressive, it will follow you, it will destroy you with those annoying missiles. And of course the housing system. As I mentioned earlier, in the CN version you need to be level 60 or 840 in the map progression. There will be a new icon in your menu. It will look like this and it will show the list of buildings. Um, the first one is the development center and you have those five um, buildings that actually will be generating resources once you already have constructed it. Right, this is in Chinese. Let's skip this. Just click the yellow button so you would transfer to the housing island or instance. I won't go in depth um, review on the housing system. I will create a separate video for that. But in general, the housing system or the housing island is just an instance of a portion of the artificial island. So the map looks exactly the same as the artificial island, the center part of the artificial island. You have to completely eliminate all of the monsters in the area every week to get resources that you could use to upgrade your buildings that also generates resources and you will use those resources in the shop and also you use those resources in crafting things like SSR matrices a very low chance is still a chance next is the 8 player raid in the CN version you need to be level 65 in order to access this um, here in the CN, you need to choose from these four different um, bosses, just defeat them and then get rewards. Now speaking of rewards, there might be changes in the global version because I think the rewards here uh, in the CN version is on um, or introduced uh, in 2.0. And of course, these are the, uh, the recommended team comp. Of course, there will be buff and debuffs. Uh, in this instance, similar to the other game modes. 
I won't show the actual combat. I will let you experience it yourself. Of course, in the CN version, there's a shop specific for those two new resources uh, used to uh, buy the new equips. All right. So let's go to the next one. The new simulacro, Claudia. At last, Claudia is here. Um, this is based on the leaks in Twitter uh, by Sova underscore TOF. But I think this is pretty much already confirmed because this is already available in the test server. You could already see the physical resonance in Claudia. So yeah, but, but still there might be changes. So let's still wait until the official launch. Of course, other than that, we also have the skills. Based on this, um, there are a lot of changes versus the CN version. So let's see what we will have when she arrives. Next is the new event, Ida Cafe. Now I don't have the footage for this, but in the CN server, there's actually an ongoing event, which is similar to this one, which is um, cooking mooncake. So it's more of a mooncake festival. So uh, there's also a limited a food, limited menu that you need to give to a specific uh, um, characters or simulacrum. So yeah, it's very similar. Uh, the difference is in Ida Cafe, you need to send five, I think, five um, ingredients or five food to random uh, customers. And I think the reward system will be the same as well. Um, whenever you give food, you will have earn points and you know the amount of points will be accumulated and certain rewards will be uh, received. Now, if these two events are fairly similar, if you head to the cooking machine, there should be another um, option there for the uh, event only or the limited food. But then again, take this with a grain of salt because this might be different in the Ida Cafe event in Globe. Next is the Sequential Phantasm. To access this, just go to the Bygone Phantasm screen or the menu. And then you would see a new option below that one. I'm um, pressing it right now. And you would see this screen. You could choose between these three um, different instances. So you have to kill monsters in order to earn points. As you can see, I have zero out of 1,500 there on the current layers. And uh, each instance have different um, buffs, uh, debuff, and other attributes so i will show later on uh, an example of an instance so let's try this one so let's interact that um, diamond to see which buff or debuffs are for it or this instance um it's actually saying that there will be 75 more ice damage and you can only um, damage the monsters with ice or power attribute. I'm not sure what's the power. Maybe that's physical. So basically, these are the five different types of stage buff in uh, the sequential phantasm. So let's try and uh, let's see which monsters we will be uh, uh, be fighting. All right? These are typical Bygan phantasm monsters. Oh, except for that one. Um, as you can see, I cannot damage them because I'm using fire attribute. So <laughs> let's move into the uh, another uh, instance. This time, let's try the first one. Now, this time we have six different characteristics. Um, some are buff, some are debuff, and um, some are um, field characteristics. So let's try this one. Now in this instance, there will be a lot of these um, machines scattered around the area that will release an AOE of frost damage. As you can see, um, I could also get uh, damaged by that. And the monsters here are really strong. Well, I I'm actually weak in the CN version, so well, also in global. <laughs> but yeah, this is something we could look forward to in the global version if this will be the same thing. And of course, uh, aside from that, there will be changes in Bygone Phantasm. The weapon switching and enhancements are disabled in the Bygone Phantasm event. Added five different types of stage buff. 
I think that is fairly similar to what I showed earlier in uh, Sequential Phantasm. And um, the maximum accumulated days of offline rewards is revised to 9 days. I'm not sure what's the, uh, the previous value for that. Um, optimize the display of new and idle servers in new and recommended signs. Okay. And added the instruction tab of the shield axe in survival guide. Is this Huma? Maybe. All right. I think that's it. I'll make a new video once we have the official 1.5 Tower of Fantasy global update. So let's wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. If this is something helpful, please like, share, and subscribe in this channel. And make sure to comment down below your thoughts about this update. What are your favorites? Is it good or is it bad? And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Good luck. See you again next time. Bye.